Hello everybody, Laura here. So today is going to be another mixed media morsels um, video and this is number 11 which is torn paper strips and I wanted to go in and show um, in my previous videos I had talked about how I was in a swap where I was supposed to be receiving 50 strips of mixed media um, like backgrounds from other people in the group and so I did get my strips in and um, so there's 50 here and then I also wanted to show the hostess of the swap um, she did this like awesome Zentangle and sent it out to everybody so that we could color it up and use it and I thought it was really really cool and um, Joanne I believe was the name her name Joanne and so I thought that today with the torn paper strips I could go in and use some of these and I think the ones I'm gonna try to use um, today I think I like these here and like this one maybe I like this dark and these are a lot more strips than I'm actually going to need but I'm just pulling them out so that I will have them okay so I think I think these are the ones I'm going to use I'm going to set these aside for now. Okay. Pages are kind of sticking together. So I didn't get to complete the, the side of the page. So, oh, okay. Anyways, so I'm going to put my paper strips on this side. <clears throat> Let's just see here. See how I kind of like them laying beside each other. Okay, so I decided I'm going to try to just go on and finish this um, page like as if it's a journal page. So I think I'm going to take 
my memento black ink. Then I have, let's see, I've got circles, paint flyers. I think I like this one. Alrighty, and then I have my Martha Stewart Butterfly Punch, and then I have this black paper that I was using to demonstrate my digital experience. Okay, so I filled in all my gold little dots, and then I went around the edges of the butterflies and the gold. So I think I'm going to use these Teresa Collins memorabilia stickers. I think I'm going to spell out a title. Cut these letters down. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while I cut all of these letters to make them fit across the page. 
Okay, I got my two words put on there and cut them down. And I went on ahead and outlined them in the gold. And I think the last thing that I wanted to do with this page is I want to add a couple of black splatters. Hopefully this turns out okay. <clears throat> On, spray bottle. Oops. I think I want to cover up my word kind of the best I can. Dry this up and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so here is my finished page. And I really like how it turned out. I think it looks really cool, that background with the torn paper strips. And so, um, but I'm definitely going to leave a link in the description box below for you to go check out Cat Hands videos if you haven't already because it's just a lot of fun and using these techniques and it just helps you to create if you're, you know, wanting to do a background and then it helps you to put, um, to create your own journal pages out of it and everything. So, um, and I would like to thank everyone who has sent me my, the background strips who created these so that I could use them. So thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.